I want to start this video by saying apologies if my voice sounds weird. So I got sick during the weekend and I lost my ability to speak loudly. And right now, yeah, I'm having troubles doing that. So I'm going to get that in the next few days. But I wanted to get uh, the video out in regards to this really nice project that I think is nice, at least, and really cool. And because they have an IDO coming up tomorrow, so I wanted to get this out today for people to check this out and decide if they want to be part of this. So without further ado, let's get into this. So Auto DCA is the name of the project. And like I said, it really has a cool concept. And I'm going to show you what this project does and why it falls into the category of serious project and not just things you enter and invest in and hope for the best right so but first things first before we get into the depth of the overview let's quickly touch base on the audit report because this is something that everyone should be wary of and that's security all right and that's something that i always start with in any video i publish so i'm gonna quickly pull out a few highlights if you really want to check the full-blown audit report I suggest you to go to the docs so you can access them here go to the docs go to audit and then you can download the full report here all right so again let's pull out some highlights all right so these guys have been audited by solid proof and generally speaking they also follow the same audit firm as if their idea so the, the decks that they're going to be launching on cyberswap and we're going to talk about it soon so overall when it comes to the audit results they have no pending issues whatsoever neither critical high medium or low and it's important to know that they did the re-audit five days after their first one and that's when they basically resolved all their issues and they proceeded so only one informational issue basically stands and that is something that is not quite critical or not even uh, moderately important to the protocol it's just something to offer to the project in case they want to change something all right so again you you want to get the full blown report you can do so easily and you can clearly see like it says 9th of march 2023 we recommend to put a hard cap on the participation fees means it is a very uh, a small recommendation nothing to do with the core value of the project all right so like i said auto dca will be launching its ido tomorrow so on the 4th of april and in order for you to participate there's something that you can do so if you go to the cyberswap launchpad so cyberswap.io slash launchpad you can clearly see the ideos that they have coming up so the one that is coming up the soonest that's auto dca tomorrow and they have one coming up soon as well so this one we know right now that they want to raise 750k and if you want to be part of this there are two ways for you to do so you can either purchase zip tokens 300 at least and stake them so you can see the rules and regulations below and if you do so you'll be able to participate in the first hour of the ido if that lasts more than an hour then it will be open to the public all right so first come first serve for both people who have the zip token and for people who don't and the multiplier thingy here it depends on how much for example if you invest for up to 30 days or if you buy more zip you can increase your allocation by that much so that's what the so that what the multiplier is about and the minimum amount invested will be 125 usdc now going back into the core value of the project this one will actually be producing real yield and I spoke about what real yield is, but I'm going to be discussing what this project does. So as the name suggests, auto DCA, if you're not familiar with the term DCA, it's a very basic yet very effective strategy when it comes to investing, especially in cryptocurrency. It's called dollar cost averaging and it has a basic form, but the team took it upon themselves to add more layers to uh, the very basic DCA strategy that most people are most likely familiar with and they're going to be doing that for you automatically of course in exchange for a certain amount of fee but at the beginning you can clearly see here it says no commission meaning they're gonna help early entrants and early users of the platform to be able to utilize this or the various strategies that they have with the luxury of not paying any fees to start with 
so i'm gonna now quickly get into how the project will operate and what you should know as a potential investor right all right so quickly let me start my overview coverage so first things first before speaking about the native asset of the platform let's talk about usability of the dapp itself so as an investor you'd most likely <clears throat> need to have usdc into your wallet as well as the coin or the token that you want to utilize to basically have your dca strategy dependent on. so it's either coin coins token tokens all right so now if you have that set in so that's what you need to participate because the protocol will automatically leverage your assets if you enable it to of course and because it's secure so you can be safe and sound from that perspective it's going to be utilizing those assets of yours to invest into the strategy that you decide to go with when we talk about dollar cost averaging specifically so you can choose whatever you want right starting from the basic strategy which is literally allocating an x amount of money every x amount of time and then the protocol will be buying you the token or coin that you want every specific time frame regardless of the price that is the basic dca strategy that everyone uses so you can use that or you can use the same strategy but more than one token or coin so instead of buying let's say bitcoin every month on the first of each month for an amount of 100 usdc it will buy you let's say 50 percent bitcoin 50 percent ETH, because you told the protocol that you want to invest in both assets and it will balance and it will balance these amounts based on your preference all right and that is called the abt strategy now it, the incentivized dca is basically you putting more allocation into one asset versus the other and the incentive here is that the asset that you're choosing is something that will also reward you like a reflection token a meme token or whatsoever so basically the asset that you ask uh, auto dca to invest in now the value dca is something that is a bit more targeted to basically a specific price so let's assume now ethereum is 1.8k which is the case actually you tell the auto dca that okay i want you to buy me ETH at the price point on of 1500 and it will do so each time ETH hits 1.5k so basically you are giving auto dca a specific value to buy you specific assets now indicator dca is basically i think the most complicated strategy of them all so it will follow things like uh, the moving averages the rsi the volume the movement depending on for example weekly monthly even yearly <coughs> moving averages and it will assess if that's a good time to buy or not so this one is a bit more complicated and it's for people who actually do trading using market analysis so again you can leverage and try the strategy but i don't know how how dca and how how much is the level of expertise that they have but perhaps auto dca sorry but perhaps they're there but it's worth a try and if it works out it's great right so then we move on to more balanced dca strategies meaning you tell auto dca that listen let's say i want 50 50 btc eth but if eth falls more in percentage terms of price action versus btc i want to buy more uh, let's say ETH versus BTC so it's more of a reallocating rebalancing portfolio based on whatever you feed it so you can get the idea right so you feed so you take the strategy you feed the information and it will do what you told it to do now again the buy DCA is basically something again that will you see like a specific asset that drops by a huge percentage in a very small time frame and then boom it buys you the asset because it needs to rebalance it at the end of the day so let's say we have a huge flash crash and your target of 4 ETH is like 5% within 30 minutes it will check that it and then the trigger happens and then boom it will buy ETH for you that's how it happens and now the LP auto staking DCA is basically you know leveraging one's asset pairing it with another staking it into a farm and collecting your reward so it's an automated process in regards to yield farming that's all that is 
and of course it will check the price of a certain asset so if it falls a lot it will leverage that fall and perhaps add more to your LP so so all of these strategies you can read more about them in the white paper which I suggest you to do so I'm just giving you the highlights now going back to the auto DCA native asset and it's it's gonna be the ticker will be DCA this one if you decide to buy the uh, the native asset it will give you a few incentives like governance incentive platform fees fee discount and additional stuff that they haven't dis disclosed yet now I said fee discounts because in the future they're gonna be adding uh, fees so platform fees when people use auto DCA so you're gonna get a discount if you have the token and all of the fees that they collect from people using the platform will also be distributed back i mean surely they will be a portion to the team but mo most probably the biggest portion will go back to people who hold dca and with that i'm gonna end the video here i hope i really provided all the overview you needed but keep in mind that this is just an overview if you want to know more i suggest you to visit the white paper you can also check out the tg room and ask them questions if you have them and keep in mind that the IDO is coming up tomorrow. So they're raising 750k. I'm just reminding you of the basic metrics here. So it is, in my personal opinion, a cool project if they can pull this off. I don't know if, it's, if there's something similar on the market. But again, at the end of the day, if there's full trust in regards to you, giving them access to specific tokens and coins for them to do the strategies that you choose. And if they are implemented correctly, then it's great. Now, I'm really hoping that there will be more dashboards coming into, like, for example, if I click on Start DCA, you can clearly see that those are the items or those are the coins and tokens that you can leverage. It says that this is how much minimum that you need to invest. For example, you need to put in 10 USDC following the ARB strategy, for example, if I you know basic, rebalancing, dip buy, whatever strategy you decide. So it will take that 10 USDC on a weekly basis and do the strategy for you. So they have these implemented and embedded within the platform right now. I'm sure they're going to be upgrading and updating these strategies as they go by. Now, I think it would be worth, like I said, checking all the information before taking a stab at the assets. And the assets performance will also mirror the platform's performance. So if the platform does well, the asset will... Uh, eventually so if you have lots of fees being pulled in by the dap token holders will benefit the most all right so thank you again for sticking around hope you had a great time see you in the next one have a good one